podcast. Today, we are going to listen in on a conversation that Matt and I have had with Audrey and Jeremy Roloff. Yeah, they, they wrote a book called A Love Letter Life. Yes. And uh, it's, it's out right now, very popular. People are picking them up, Amazon. You know, it, it's one of those books that a lot of young people are reading because of the influence that Jeremy and his family had with through reality television. And uh, I think a part of that story was that he and Audrey met and it talks about their courtship and it talks about how they went, you know, from being interested in each other to dating and from dating to marriage. And, you know, now they've been married. Now, how long? Um, I, that I do not know. Yeah, not correctly. nearly as, not long, nearly as, as us, long as us, but, but they do have a little um, girl. And so, um, yeah, they've and, just started their family and, and there's a lot of people that, uh, have really taken to this message of a love letter life and, and being able to live in such a way that you express your feelings in, in an intentional way and, and certainly let your spouse, your wife, your husband know how you feel. I think that there's a lot of times that, uh, one of the challenges couples face is communicating affection. You know, I know as a pastor that I've sat and visited with couples over the years that, you know, one will say that the other never says, and, and never's a big, strong word. It is, you know, yeah. he, he never tells me he loves me. He never this, he never that. And, and what she's really saying is, is he has trouble expressing it in such a way that I feel it. And, right, and yeah. so, you know, I think that this conversation gives you an idea of how important it is to live that kind of love letter life. And we hope yeah. it's an encouragement to you. Jeremy, welcome to The Difference. Yeah, Audrey, so good to yes, have nice you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, much. Thank you so much. For so a, a love letter life, what, what exactly does that mean? Because I think people, you know, they, they hear words like that and yeah. they, all, they all define them differently. Yeah, totally. So a love letter life, we just want to be really intentional with kind of our love story. And we feel like everyone has a love story, whether you're single, dating, married, you're crafting and building your love story. And ultimately it's it's your life. It's what you, when you, when you get to the end, we want people to look back and like what they read, the uh -huh. story of their life. And so that's kind of the- Well, the, and really the, the if you look there. at it, each individual life is something that you should consider a gift in a way that you share with someone else, yes. whether it's your spouse or your family or the Amen. rest of the world. You know, I mean, you, you kind of have a lot of experience in sharing your life yeah, with other people sure. uh, yeah. in, in ways that might have been a little bit more intense than, than most are accustomed to. But that requires that even before you get in a relationship, totally. that you are working on the person that you are so that you become a gift to someone else. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, how do you see that playing out in, in terms of, you know, how people pursue creatively or, or date intentionally and those kinds of things? Yeah, for sure. Well, I think like for us, a big shift, we found each other when we stopped looking for each other. Mm -hmm. And so for yeah. us, like, you know, before we were dating, before the whole thing, before we even got introduced, we both had personal decisions of who am I becoming in Christ? Mm -hmm. Not yeah. just in Christ, but as a person, like, who am I? Who am yeah. I becoming? I'm going to stop worrying about this person in the future, start focusing on myself and what I can bring to the world. And then we found each other. Mm -hmm. and so, awesome. Okay, I have to know, how did you meet? And how, yeah, how did you yeah. start dating? Well, you can read the book. Thing. I know, you can read the book, <laughs> yeah. but give us a Come short on, us, so Give us a, we'll yes, yeah, 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 every yeah. female watching right now yes. is like, well, how did they meet? What is the love story? Yeah, it's kind story? of funny. I'll, I'll let Audrey share Come this, on, Audrey. Yeah. Okay, so we basically were set up, the short version is we were set up on a blind date before church. Okay. So we had mutual friends that were dating at the time. And before neither church, of us had like your ever. Date was at church. So our date kind was of, the yeah. macaroni grill church. before church. Before okay. church. <laughs> um, so our friends if you're at the dating time. At church, you're not thinking about. No, that, yeah, right? That's the perfect place to yeah. meet. Just yes. as a pastor, yes. I want y'all to know this: don't date right? at church. Yeah. Before or after, fine. Not at. It was don't how, get distracted. It was how our friends convinced us to like meet because our yeah, we our church was church. opening another campus, and they said, "Hey, we'll go on a blind date. It'll be awesome. You'll meet each other. It'll be cool. And we'll go to church afterwards." It's yeah. the yeah. opening yeah. of the campus. We were going to the same church. Yeah. So we're like, okay, sure, we'll go. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So we went. And our, both of us was our first blind date. <laughs> and we were like, he almost bailed last minute. And oh. yeah, it was a whole thing. The yeah. opening <laughs> chapter of the book has a really funny story about and, and how so, I answered the door. You, know, you went to this blind date. Was it love at first sight, or was it like, yeah? He yeah. Didn't... I, I mean, I was pretty smitten in a with a with curiosity. Like, uh -huh. who is this girl? You know, but I wouldn't say it was a, we don't say it's a sparks flying yeah. first. But there, there, were, there was enough yeah. magnetic oh, energy sure. that you're like, all right, I'm pulled back to this conversation. I'm going to press in. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. I want to find out what else is here. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And, and then the story unfolds. Yep. But I think going back to something you said earlier about, 
you know, you found each other when you weren't looking for each other. As parents, uh, you know, we, we, we've got one teenager and another one just starting that whole adolescent process. Yeah. And, and, and probably now more than ever, uh, there's that pressure to, you know, be in a relationship or, or you yeah, know, sure. I mean, kids now more than ever. And, and I say kids, you know, teenagers, yeah. you know, oh, I need a boyfriend. Oh, I need a girlfriend. And I, we constantly encourage our kids. You need to be the best you, you. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. all by yourself so. and, and, and let you be somebody that others want to associate with before you try to find an association that makes you better. Yes. Totally. You know, yes. how, how much do you see that playing out? In, in relationships as you kind of get the chance to meet and share mm. with other people? Yes. Mm. Um, well, I did some ministry stuff, young, organization called Young Life. Yeah. Um, and so I used Great to like always try to yeah. tell my girls, you know, like I used to have a bet with them where I'd be like, don't date, if you don't date a boy for a month, I'll give you a dollar Sunday from Dairy Queen or whatever. Yeah. Now, now that's and, way too cheap. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Nobody will buy it. Um, the back then you used it was to really get for cool. a blizzard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I think just like for, for us, a huge part of our story was just when we were when we were in the beginning stages of our relationship and friendship. You know, I was really adamant about the next person that I dated. I wanted it to be my husband. I wasn't looking yeah. to like date around um, because what's the point of dating if you're not looking for your spouse? In that's my expensive. opinion, that's right. um, yeah. so yeah, there's that part too. Um, and so yeah, I think that's why we were so intentional. That's why that was such a huge piece to our story. It just, and that's also why it took us so long to date, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which yeah. that word can be so thrown around. Like yeah. what does dating really even mean? Was it long distance but, relationship? In your book, you talked about some yeah. health issues and the right. long distance. Yes. Well, we were friends for a good long time and we, cause we wanted to be, we wanted to marry our friend. We didn't want to start dating, mm -hmm. kiss. And next thing you know, we're wrapped up in yeah. this thing that gets down the road and we're wondering, well, what, what's this kind of founded on? So for us, friendship was huge. Yes. Pursued friendship. Mm -hmm for years. years. Then we started dating and then we did long distance. Okay. Yes. And honestly, okay. long distance, it just prolonged us getting married at that point. But yeah. um, we wanted to graduate spent. college. And okay. yeah. Prolonged, because we would have been one married. One month later we got married. Yeah. We would have been married three years earlier so. if, uh -huh. if it wasn't for college and long distance and wanting to finish that. And so, and, and that was just something that you internally prioritized. Would you recommend that to others? Yeah, or? that's a great question, graduating? man. I, I, no, no, we no. would not, not recommend. Graduating because I mean, there, there are some- Long distance. Yeah, there, oh, there long are, distance. There long are distance. some yes. young people, because I get to, have conversation all the time with, with different dating dynamics. You know what I mean? There are some yeah. young people yeah. that you look at them and you're like, y'all probably need to get married pretty quick right. yeah. because you're yeah. going to kill right. each other if you don't, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. and then there's other people you're like, y'all need to take need as to much time as you bit. possibly yes. can. So, I mean, in terms of your, your story, you know, I think that each... Each chapter has to be written by the author. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It can't, sure. it can't be that, hey, I'm going to read Jeremy and Audrey's story and I've got to go do exactly what they totally. did. Totally. Yes. So yes. how did you guys yes. find out what was right for you? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a great point because mm -hmm. we, a lot of people like on social media will say like, oh, goals or whatever. And they'll try to like, goals, yes. like no, they no, will no, try like, going back to kind of becoming the right person. Like they'll try to become someone else to find someone mm -hmm. when they need to press into who they are right mm -hmm. and who they were made to be and so it, mm -hmm. I, so I just I love yeah. that point I think it's a really good point but um, for us it's just like we hope this book and kind of our story in it gets people thinking really about one word am I being intentional and mm -hmm. or am I throwing this around over here or am I not really paying attention over here or mm -hmm. am I what am, why do I want a boyfriend or a girlfriend or like mm -hmm. am I ready for that and so mm -hmm. that's really kind of the the word intention or being intentional really is kind of the concept we hope to convey through our story. Mm -hmm. We hope that you enjoyed the opportunity to hear from Jeremy and Audrey and how they are growing their life together and, and learning to love each other one day at a time. Uh, you know, as always, we hope that the conversations on our podcast encourage you. And if there's another conversation that you'd like to hear or even be a part of, we'd love for you to reach out uh, through Hagee Ministries social media. Follow Kendall and I, Instagram or uh, Facebook, and, and, and let us know some of the things that you'd like to hear uh, discussed on this platform. Yeah, and, and you know what? Share your love story. Maybe you want to tell us about how you and your husband met. I mean, I think that'd be so cool for everybody to leave a comment Absolutely. and share your story. You know, I have something to share right now, though. But, I have one of your love letters. Since we're, I mean, love letter that you wrote to me. How do you have a uh, love letter? Since I saved it. You know what? It's actually on Hotmail. So I took a picture of it. I found the printed out. I could not go back to my Hotmail account. I was, that was say, closed down. We, like we were dating back in the days of years papyrus. Ago. I know that was back before you. Hand, so you wrote me a Hotmail email 
back on January 13th. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, Hotmail okay, was Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to explain it to Yeah, it was an email platform. Hotmail was nothing crude. It was it was actually something that you signed up for, hotmail.com. So anyway. So you wrote me this um, email um, on January 13th, 2003. So we had been dating for about three weeks. Well, yeah, 13 days. 13 cause, days. 13 days, because yeah. January 1st was our first date. And so, I mean, listen, guys, this much I know. I went to bed at 2 a.m. with you on my mind and awoke at 5 a.m. and your memory was still not hard to find. This much I know, I've been at work since 7.30 and now it's 12.30 and every 15 minutes I'm hoping to catch you online. (sighs) This much I know, your eyes are a joy to get lost in. This much I know, your embrace is wonderful to be found in. This much I know, your smile comforts the deepest of my insecurities. This much I know, your faith conquers my fears and worries. This much I know, the thought of tomorrow is filled with wonder and expectation if you'll share it with me. This much I know, when I thank God for His goodness and mercy, with the same breath I thank Him for you. This much I know, if there's anything that you ever need, there's nothing that I will not do with more of my heart today than you had yesterday. Matt. (gasps) This much I know. It worked. So good. It did. It worked. And he still feels the same way, right? Absolutely. Three hours of sleep. I'm the first thing that works on your mind. Well, now, clear that up. 2 a.m., you were working night shift yes, as a okay. nurse. Yes, okay, yes, night shift. So, so I would go to the hospital. Ta- and on and, my break, and, and my I break would come was see 2 a.m. you on your break. So we weren't out doing nefarious things at 2 a.m. <laughs> she was working, and that was the only time I could see her. And then 5 a.m. is when I had to get up so that I could get things done before I got to work. Uh, so, you know, for Aww. those of you who are trying to get the juicy details, it was whew, Steamy. Yes, but this much I know, I still love you more today than yesterday. Well, I'm so glad to know that, darling, because I love you too. Thanks, guys, for listening. Bye.